we'll discuss portals of musculoskeletal system this is set 4 for other sets visit our youtube page and see our spotters playlist each spotter will be displayed for 30 seconds and answers will be discussed after each spotter first spotter was osteoblastic or sclerotic metastasis is a sclerotic mass most common cause will be prostatic carcinoma breast carcinoma mats can be mixed lytic and sclerotic and transitional cell carcinoma This is a lateral skull x-ray of a case of hyperparathyroidism. This shows salt and pepper sign or pepper pot skull. That is multiple variable size tiny lucencies or lytic lesions. This is because of resorption of trabecular bone. This is a knee x-ray depicting hemophilic arthropathy. There is resorption of secondary trabeculae and there are prominent vertical trabeculae left. These are linear striations of vertical trabeculae. This happens due to chronic hyperemia. Later on there will be enlarged medial epicondyle. This is an early stage x-ray. This is macrodystrophia lipomatosa in which there will be marked hypotrophy of a finger. There is enlarged phalanges and no soft tissue calcification associated with this condition. This is an interesting case or sign depicting triquitral fracture. This is pooping duck sign. There is the small avulsed fragment of dorsal cortex of triquitrium which you can see. Why is it called pooping duck sign? This scaphoid forms the body of the duck and this avulsed fragment is the poop of the duck and wing of the duck is formed by the lunate bone. This is a case of scoriatic arthritis in which there is symmetrical polyarthropathy in hands and feet. Here we can see enthesitis and marginal erosions. 
this later on gives rise to pencil in cup deformity there can also be soft tissue edema of a finger causing sausage digit or dactylitis This is a case of ochronosis or alkaptonuria. This is an autosomal recessive condition. Here we can see severe osteopenia of the vertebral bodies and dense disc calcifications in between the vertebral bodies. There can also be syndesmophytes or bridging osteophytes and disc narrowing will be present. This is a benign condition called hyperostosis frontalis interna. There is benign overgrowth of inner table of frontal bone, bilaterally symmetrical and affects women more than 65 years of age more commonly and it's usually an incidental finding. This is an ultrasound image of myocystis sarcosis happening due to tapeworm ingestion. We can see oblong cystic lesions with a calcium speck. These lesions will be usually parallel to muscle fibers and this calcified speck is nothing but the dead larvae. Also called as gray screen calcification. Last we have the case of multiple myeloma. Here we can see multiple punched out lytic lesions in majority of the bones in the body. There will be associated osteopenia. Usually we have to do a skeletal survey in which skull will show classic rain dog skull. Follow our page on YouTube and Instagram and do share our videos and comment below for more such videos. Thank you.